back to my channel it's a girl Amiji here and just in case you're seeing my face for the first time you're welcome to join us thank you so much guys for all the support the love like it's so overwhelming um i read your comments and the comment section has become like another school for me i've, got, I've garnered a lot from just reading me all your thoughts so please keep them coming thank you for subscribing and liking my videos don't throw it back this girl push it so this one is from benny johnson he said um joey rogan in cs laughing laughing over big mike joke Ooh, ha let's check it out guys what they should have done if they wanted to win george soros should have backed up the money truck to michelle obama and said listen you are going to run because people like you they like you it doesn't matter you know about any of the conspiracies maybe you are big mike who cares what but you are going to run this I believe you went there. You're going to run this guy's country. That is the wackiest conspiracy. It's a wacky conspiracy. Can wackiest. I make one point for the people that are on the side of it? Yes. It is weird, but I don't think she's Big Mike. Okay. It is weird that there's not one photo of her pregnant, but maybe there is. Is that not weird? Well, maybe it's not weird. I don't she's know. She's a public person. Why would you want photos of her pregnant out there? I understand that, but it's, I just, maybe it is weird. Maybe it's not weird. Maybe it's not weird. Well, also, when she had her kids, were they private or public? Like, when was that? When he was a senator? I don't know. I just know that. Yeah, he was a senator, right? Yes. Before he became president. For sure. So I don't, what, law school, yeah. Senate? I have no issue because I want to live. I have no issue with Big Mike. I don't right. care that they killed that sex slave. Martin. That's what happens to sex slaves. They drown in ponds. That's what happens. You f ruling class, you drown in a pond. That's what happens if you get your, your little mouthy. You go into the pond. Um, I don't have a problem with it. I have no. I think it's good. I actually think it's good. I think it makes our country fun. I think it makes us unique. I think Putin and them are scared of that. They do it all the time. I think Putin and the Chinese are like, you know, they you don't know what's going on there mm. because they're, we got, they got people that maybe they're men, maybe they're women. We don't know. I think if it's not real, make it real. Put it out. Would it be anything better than hurt the DNC, whip her and go, and I'm Big Mike. The Chinese would lose their mind. The Chinese would give up. They would give up. <laughs> if Michelle Obama took her out at, at the Democratic National Convention, the Chinese would go, we're throwing in the towel. We can't compete with them. <laughs> <laughs> That's my, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, my God. I am president. I'm going to tell you what people need, huh? People need money. Lots and lots of money. That's right. We gonna print so much damn money. money. I'm gonna give every single American one million dollars. And then we gonna have a big ass party with all us millionaires. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. Tim Dillon is obviously one of the funniest people on planet Earth. Tim Dillon, if you're not familiar with him, you'd have to be living under a rock, but he is just a great comic. He is based in California, and he had a lot to say on Joe Rogan's recent podcast, specifically about maybe the most powerful Californian in the world right now, Kamala Harris. I have never seen Joe Rogan laugh this hard, not in many, many years. I'm a massive Joe Rogan fan. Obviously, uh, a lot of the way that we do business around here and a lot of the things that we, including our microphone, like we, we've idealized Joe Rogan. We're big fans of what he does. We like Joe a lot. I've never seen him laugh like this. Then when Tim Dillon walked into his studio and called Kamala Harris a gypsy. Watch. From now. There's no way. How? Newsom is coming up and trying to run. Um, there are other people that are circling. I don't think he runs again. I can't see it. I don't see it. How do you think they get Kamala Harris to step down? Because she's rightfully, if he steps down... You know, until some if Kamala Harris cannot say a sentence. It's yeah, almost yeah. she's almost worse than him. She okay. talks in like gypsy curses. <laughs> <laughs> when they ask her something, <laughs> she'll be like, My grandma said that a hive of bees is still bees if you if you bury it and you're like, What the <laughs> f is yeah. this Saying she curses. That's how she speaks. <laughs> the woman is uh, it has no idea what's going on. <laughs> okay. So, is Tim Dillon correct? Well, there's only one movie that we know of that has gypsies in it that don't know how to speak and who curse a lot. And, well, that would be the movie Snatch. Also, great Guy Ritchie movie. Really entertaining movie. We have done a face swap of Kamala Harris in that movie. We hope that you enjoy it. Let me know if you uh, agree with our assessment here. Tim Dillon, I believe, is... Very right. Not say a sentence. It's almost, she's almost worse than him. She oh. talks in like gypsy curses. <laughs> Gypsies. What are you doing, Potter? Yeah, it's way back. I can't really understand much of what is being said. You tell me. Come back to Cardinal. It's not English. Oh, yeah. Fair. What is my kindness for the horses, you know? <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So he's 
totally right. And that's just a great way to say it. Again, Joe Rogan barreling over laughing, uh, along with, of course, the opening about Big Mike. Tim Dillon, you went there, baby. You went there. Joe Rogan went there talking about Biden's crimes. I wasn't expecting this. Joe Rogan pulling up House Republicans report on Joe Biden's uh, payments from all of the most evil leaders on planet Earth. 20 million plus dollars. Check this out. Third bank memo detailing payments to the Bidens from Russia, Kazakhstan and Ukraine. What's the number? 20 million. They now have identified. The committee has now identified over 20 million in payments from foreign sources to the Biden family and their business associates. Oh, yeah. I mean, listen, there you don't stay in. There's no way that they looked at him and why he should be the president unless they knew for a fact that he's controlled and being managed. Yeah, this is all. There's so, no way he's so wild. They want a guy who's he's been a company man forever. He's you know, he started his career letting, you know, people in uh, Delaware, like these, these credit card companies do whatever the f they wanted. And he had that, you know, the architect of the crime bill where they sent a lot of nonviolent drug. Effects. But he's done. He's the, a company man. Like he's a guy. Yeah. Joe Biden's been a guy. It's why Obama had him as vice president. He was never like an articulate guy. He was never that great at it. He was just a guy that he he's a solid Washington insider forever. And that's what he is. And now he's old. But that's what he is, a guy that's just been in the system for a long time. Yeah. And that's, that's what he is. This is the reason why I, I love Joe Rogan's podcast is that you are able to see how much of the political world breaks through to the normies. I'm not calling Joe Rogan a normie. What I'm saying here is that like his listenership is possibly hearing some of these things for the first time. Whether it be Big Mike or whether it be talking about the Biden crime family, the listenership of Joe Rogan is massive. You're talking 12, 14, 15 million people per download, per episode. You're talking the biggest deal in all of podcasting, $200 million from Spotify because of those listeners, obviously, worth every single penny of it. And so this man is white pilling and red pilling just an enormous amount of people with stories like this about the Bidens. Because everywhere else in society, a manicured, primrose image of Joe Biden and his family, and that is, of course, a falsehood. It is a lie. It is a narrative. It is a propaganda that has been manufactured. Joe Biden's not real. None of his story is real. Joe Biden cheated on his wife with the babysitter. That's how you get Jill Biden. Joe Biden used his kids as props when there was a tragic accident that killed his wife and his daughter. Joe Biden is a dirty dangerous, evil man, and he's a company man. He's also a terrible father, obviously. And that was also discussed in this Tim Dillon podcast. Reason? That, yeah, they had a meeting over the holidays where they're like, we're assessing- July 4th holidays? No, this was during the holidays holidays. And they were like, the Biden family had this meeting, Jamie could look up, where they were like- December. Yeah, where they were like, we're gonna see if he's gonna run again. And Jill and Hunter and the rest of the crew met, and they decided it's a great idea for him to run again. And I'm like, it's crazy sending a guy th that old into battle again, and I don't, you know, so- There was some article, uh, Jamie, about the accusations of how much money they received. And like some new one came out today. They were trying to figure out how much money the Biden family received during this whole Hunter Biden scandal thing. Right. It's, What's a big scandal? People don't, people are going like, well, his son's an addict and he stood by his son. Number one, don't stand by it. Like if, if a laptop came out where I had done the Hunter Biden, did, my family would tell people I was dead. Like, <laughs> yeah, and they're not even the president. My dad sells wine. And he wouldn't be like, there is a time you cannot support your kids, by the way. What are we talking about? People are like, well, he's a good father. It's like, is he? Was he? Do you think it was his coke at the White House? Whose coke is it outside? It's definitely his coke. <laughs> but I don't like narcs and rats, so I think he should be able to have a little. He can have a blast. Yeah, what's the big deal? You're at your dad's house. If your father's a president, you can't have yeah, a blast. You can't do a little bump. <laughs> okay. So you have the breakthrough now of this story you see here leading the Daily Mail uh, that Republicans are now accusing the DOJ of cover up, special counsel probe, Biden's business dealings. They're losing the narrative here. This is why there was a full court press to get Joe Rogan off the air. There was a full court press at the beginning of the year to say that Joe Rogan is a dangerous conspiracy theorist and he shouldn't be allowed to speak. I mean, they threw everything that they had at Joe Rogan. CNN manipulated a video that Joe Rogan put out when he got COVID to make him look worse. They're losing the narrative. It is partially because of Joe Rogan's show that they lose the narrative. There are people who are very curious about what's going on in the mainstream. We used to call that journalism. It's amazing. You go back even to the 1990s and they had, and by they, I'm talking about Newsweek specifically, back when Newsweek was a relatively powerful magazine, had in their hands, dead to rights, Bill Clinton's sex escapades in the White House. And they didn't report on it. They didn't do anything about it. They let it hang on the vine and dry. It had to fall to a blog, Drudge Report's the name, for you to find out that Bill Clinton's having sex in the White House. 
So people don't trust the press. People don't trust the media. They listen to people like Joe Rogan, one for entertainment, but then also literally for their news. And good for them. If more people got their news from Joe Rogan, he and I certainly don't agree on everything, but if more people got their news from Joe Rogan, at the very least, they'd get balanced news and they'd get curiosity news. Like, I'm curious, why are the Biden so corrupt? Uh, why is Kamala so utterly cringeworthy? And maybe ask some questions about how our election systems work, which got Joe Rogan in huge trouble this past week because he talked about broken voter systems with Patrick Beck David on his last podcast. And this is one of the only people, including people on Fox News, that are allowed to actually talk about this. It's Joe Rogan. So he's a national treasure. God bless Joe Rogan. Protect this man. He's fighting to end communism. There's somebody, something Joe Rogan is not. It's a communist. communist. And we are fighting to end communism here. Like, share, and subscribe. It's your boy, Benny. See ya. Guys, to be frank, um, I'm happy at where we are in terms of the media. You know, it's obvious that corporate media is no longer, doesn't, doesn't uh, hold the, doesn't have that strong hold on people like before. You know, before everybody has to rely on them to get or hear anything. But now, and, and over the years, we didn't know that they were featuring what they were sending to us or what they were airing to us. They, they aired what they wanted us to, to hear per time. So they were controlling it and we were just eating everything, eating it all up, not knowing, not knowing that they were just feeding us all the wrong, uh, the wrong information. I'm so happy that people are now, now have the opportunity to select where they get their news from. I love it so much, guys. I love it. And the, way, the whole thing is not beginning to look like it's actually entirely true. I may not know because I'm just like, coming to hear about like getting to hear about it. So maybe you guys have been hearing about it over the years. You might have first-hand information more than I do. But it's, the whole thing is beginning to make, like it's beginning to make, like it's beginning to make full meaning to me. And to be frank, I've never seen the Obamas. I don't think I've ever seen the pictures of their babies. Or even she being pregnant, or maybe it doesn't. That doesn't suit their political image. Maybe they have a brand they built that they don't want it to look anyhow. What do you guys think? Maybe this could be actually be true. Because, like, I don't even know. Like, is even that I'm beginning to think about? I've never, even by mistake, like, let's have even scrolling tr through social media and come across it. Have you guys seen? It's as if in, in, the whole thing is beginning to make so much, but it's as if the Obama just came from nowhere. And boom! The media painted this perfect family picture for us. They like they rescued the savior, the best. Hmm. Well, only time will tell. But let me know your thoughts are about this whole saga. Don't forget to like and subscribe and take care of yourself. Bye guys.